The hastily assembled and disjointed group of Russian troops responding to the Ukrainian operation in the Kursk region of the Russian Federation consists of units whose numbers are below the doctrinally defined ones. Also, the Russian brigades are ill-prepared to create the unified command and control structures necessary to coordinate the response. This is stated in a report by the Institute for the Study of War, ISW. Analysts noted that Russian propagandists themselves predict that the Russian army is weak in defending itself on its own territory. Ukrainian military observer Konstantin Mashovets reported that the Russian army forces have so far redeployed approximately 10 to 11 battalions from across the Ukrainian front to Kursk. But he suggested that these units are not up to their intended final strength, which is likely to further disorganize the Russian response to the operation. According to him, the aggressor transferred a reinforced motorized rifle battalion of the 138th Motorized Rifle Brigade and up to three battalions from the 128th Motorized Rifle Brigade and 72nd Motorized Rifle Division to defend the Kursk border area. These two formations from the Northern Group of Forces operated in the north of the Kharkov region. In addition, one motorized rifle battalion of the 272nd Regiment was transferred to Kursk from the Kupiansk direction. Up to two airborne battalions of the 217th Airborne Regiment from the Kursk region, units of an unspecified echelon of the 104th Airborne Division from the Kherson region, one battalion possibly from the 810th Marine Brigade of the Black Sea Fleet of the Russian Federation from the Kherson direction, which most likely belongs to the one 155th Marine Brigade of the Black Sea Fleet, which operated in the north of the Kharkov region. Additional battalions of the occupiers from the 38th and 64th Motorized Rifle Brigades also went to defend Kursk, probably from the Zaporizhia direction. They estimate that Russia's redeployment of battalions and lower-level units, rather than full brigades and regiments to defend the Kursk region, contributes to the difficulties of Russian forces in quickly establishing effective command in the area. So, Russia has a large amount of losses. Russian women from Kursk Hospital confirm this. One of them says, They are transporting the wounded in droves, the killed in droves. All the cars and cam as trucks are filled with corpses and the wounded without limbs. It's just awful. Experts say that the more the war is taken to Russia, the more Russian civilians will learn everything they have been told over the last 10 years is a lie like the real number of Russian casualties. The invasion of Ukraine into the territory of Russia may lead to a faster end to the military conflict. Andreas Umland, an analyst at the Swedish Institute of International Relations, wrote about it for foreign policy. According to him, the last four days drastically changed the Russian-Ukrainian war. The operation of the Ukrainian forces in the Kursk region quickly turned into the largest territorial advance since the successful counteroffensive in Kharkiv and Kherson in the fall of 2022. It is not yet clear whether the Russians were able to stop the advance of the BSU. After all, more and more footage of captured Russians and destroyed convoys of Russian vehicles are appearing online. In some places, the situation is very similar to the first chaotic days of the Great War. The operation demonstrates the ability of Ukraine to achieve surprise and use sudden breakthroughs, in which Russia has always failed since the beginning of the conflict, the analyst noted. In addition, this is the first case of the invasion of foreign troops into the PF since the Second World War. Consequently, Ukraine demonstrates to Russians that the war is returning to their territory. It seems that the West has approved the operation. The White House and the EU said that the decision to carry out the operation should be made by Ukraine itself. Earlier, the Allies declared that an attack on the Russian Federation could become a red line, the beginning of the Third World War and nuclear Armageddon. But the Ukrainians did it. Umland noted that the effect and purpose of the Kursk operation may be to erase arguments about the red line. In addition, Umland said that the lightning breakthrough of Ukraine undermines the widespread idea that Putin holds all the cards in his hands and can dictate the terms of the ceasefire. Kiev makes it clear that obtaining levers of influence on the negotiations is one of the goals of the offensive. It is noted that the probable purpose of the operation is consistent with the recent statements of President Zelensky that Kiev is ready for negotiations. 
It seems that Kiev is preparing the basis for potential negotiations, striving to strengthen its position and publicly declaring its readiness.